Hello? How are you guys doing today? Well, the dogs are fed. My videos are up, except for my Peter Likes Books video. Um, it's uploading right now, and then it's gonna go up. And I need to take down everything, and then we're gonna put a Halloween movie on. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys something. Um, these candle waxes that Abby sent me from the Poor House Candle Company, um, the ones that are called Mrs. Weasley's Kitchen, are so strong and so delicious. I have burning in two of them right now. They smell like so strong like apples. I love them. Like they smell like the Yankee Candle Macintosh apple, but better. A little, There's like a little vanilla or something in them. So I wanted to say that. I love them. They're listed below. Her website's listed below if you want to go check it out. Um, <clears throat> Perez Hilton also did like a little video. She like re-showed it on um, Twitter. So I also wanted to read you something. I, I, it's been a tough day today. I don't know why. Like, you know, some days are better than others. And I got up this morning and I did um, my prayers and meditations and all that stuff. And I felt centered, but like, do you ever just have those days that like no matter what, you still feel kind of like a little pulled? Like, that's kind of how I felt today. And I went to the post office and um, this is from a random subscriber. I'm gonna, the letter, first of all, they sent me um, Mrs. Meyer's uh, pumpkin scent, the cleaner. And then they sent me um, Mrs. Meyer's pumpkin dish soap. And then they sent me a little pumpkin, <laughs> which I love. And then two of the, um, ha the hand sanitizers, the lavender that I love, and then also um, the basil, which I haven't ever used before. I've tried it in the store, but I haven't used it before. But it smells good. It's like a very clean smell. Yeah, it's like very like clean, clean. I love it. But I opened this letter and it was addressed to Pumpkin Spice <laughs> CO Peter Mon. And I opened this letter and I just I read like I sat there and I read through it and I was like, like I really needed to hear this today, you know? So I want to read it to you. It's typed up and it's just a really nice letter. Um September 26th, dearest Peter. I recently came across your content, and it, the writing in this is fantastic, too. Dear, dearest Peter, I recently came across your content and was immediately captivated. I eagerly embarked on an adventure through your YouTube world. I laughed uncontrollably on Rant Alley. I definitely need a follow-up on Insistent Census Sally. I tiptoed into your book club and quietly listened from behind the stacks. You reignited my long-abandoned devotion to V.C. Andrews novels. I am currently rereading my Sweet Audrina as a result. I then hitchhiked down Vlog Highway and jumped into your back seat. I accompanied you on your ghost escapade and shuddered as I digested the idea that you might have come in contact with a serial killer. Then one night, I looked up to see your curiosity awoken by a deserted cooler. I screamed, don't open that cooler. What if there's a severed head inside? What if it's a booby trap? You have brought laughter and new perspective to my world. I look forward to your review channel and what it has to offer. I was strolling down the aisles of Whole Foods and Lowe's when I came across these products and thought of you. It might be silly, but nonetheless, I am sending them and this tongue-in-cheek note your way. My dear Peter, you have the ability to profoundly and positively impact others. I hope you will not allow yourself to get too distracted by the fluff of life. It is my wish that you will embrace everything that is good, kind, and uniquely wonderful about you. May you continue to shine your brightness into the YouTube atmosphere and the world. With love, a random s subscriber. P.S. I also got a candle at Bed Bath & Beyond, but it could not fit into this package. I might send it later. Um, and obviously you can see that like that really like moved me emotionally. I'm going to put these in my car so I have them. I might give one to Alex. Um, see if he wants one. You know, it's... I haven't talked a lot about this on here just because like, I want this to be happy and stuff. I've been using the uh, apple cider one, which I love. And most days I'm pretty happy. Most days I'm pretty good, you know? Um, I don't know. It's like... Here, let's go in here and sit down for a second. I never... Like, I never got on YouTube... Ex like expecting all of this like this isn't like like all the channels and I mean that was never like a plan of mine you know what I mean like I started on booktube and I really 
Like, I thought that would kind of be it. You know, like, I never thought it would go any further than that. And then I just kind of happened to start uploading videos on a channel that I had uploaded videos on before, you know, that were stupid. And um, that was just kind of it. And I didn't really think any deeper than that. And, you know, and now to end up here is like, with all of these channels and all this stuff and being able to make videos on four, now five different channels that I love, like, I feel so blessed. But... When I think back to like May 11th of 2016, you know, of um, like when I started my booktube channel, that was the very first video I put out. Like living in this public world, like I never, I never, like I don't know that I, <laughs> get a little bit rambly. I don't know that I really could have conceptualized what that was really all about. What is it, honey? Did you have good dinner? They just had their dinner. Um, I just don't know that I could have ever conceptualized all of it. And I don't know. It's just, you know, sometimes like the perception, I think, is hard. It's just, you know, it's hard. So anyway, I don't know. That letter just really cheered me up. You know, it's like when, you know, in the movie Pretty Woman, and I've talked a lot about this on here, and I really love that movie. Um, when she, they're laying there, and he says, you know, you're so beautiful, and she says, the bad stuff is easier to believe. When someone tells you something about yourself long enough, you start to believe it. Like, it's kind of like that. You know, I made my Peterisms video today about, like, um, that we sometimes kind of, like, negatively self-talk self ourselves. I mean, I've done it for years about my weight and about my hair and just, you know, like... I don't know, choices I've made in my life and just on and on and on, you know, and it's just like that negative self-talk sometimes is worse than the other. And then when like you, there's like just a lot of like negativity coming towards you. It just is real tiring. It's a lot, you know, it's really, really draining. And, um, I just was kind of drained. And then I got that letter and I just was like, this really, I don't know, like I needed to hear this right now. So thank you to whoever you are, random subscriber. Um, and all of you guys out there that have just, like, left me, like, really supportive, nice messages and comments. It just, it really means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. So, I kind of had a couple hours today that were tough, but I'm doing good now. We're getting ready to go to Alex's. It's, like, 645. Alex gets off uh, about 8 or 830 when his meetings end. And then, um... I'm going to meet him at my brother-in-law Carlos's house in Liliana, and we're going to have dinner over there and kind of hang out with the family. So I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. <laughs> Tucker is sitting down here. Tucker, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> These dogs, I said I was going to um, take them to get, like, groomed and stuff in September, and um, I get them groomed at Tanya's because um, the girl that works there has worked there for, like, 15 years. Well, when I called to set up an appointment, um, she had left to go on this vacation for like 10 days. And that was at the end of September. So as soon as she gets back, they're getting groomed because they need it. Don't you? Boo Rowley says, oh, no, not me. I don't need it. Yes, you do. You guys always feel so much better when you've had your, your haircuts and your baths. Tucker always does. So, yep, she gets back this week, this weekend. So next week, y'all are getting groomed. And Pee, Pee is upstairs laying down. He was downstairs next to me while I was making my videos today. I, I almost made um, another review video today. But I think I kind of want to like put at least a day in between for a while. So that, because I know like I have so many videos that I'm putting up. And then that way people can kind of get like excited about him or whatever. So I don't know. I'm either going to put, this week I may just put two up. And I may either do it, I'm either going to do the other one tomorrow or Sunday. But we're going to Cascade tomorrow. If it rained most of today. So if it rains tomorrow, I don't know what we'll be doing. I might not be going to Cascade in the rain. Um, so if I have enough time, I'm going to do the review video tomorrow. I already know how I want to do it and everything. But um, if I, Boo Radley. He's licking Tucker. Come on, honey. Um, but if I... Uh, <laughs> he licks Pee Pee and Tucker's, like, backs. And the vet told us it was his way of being, like, compassionate towards them. Isn't that so sweet? But sometimes Tucker doesn't like it. And sometimes Tucker does it back to him. So it's sweet. 
It's kind of funny to think that they're biological bro brothers and they've been together since birth. You know that, Tucker? Tucker, do you know that, honey? Come here. Do you know that? Do you know you and Boo Radley have been together since birth? He said, of course I do. He drives me crazy. <laughs> See, he's doing it right now. Look, he's licking his back. <laughs> yeah. You've got the prettiest eyes, Tucker, in the whole world. You're so pretty. Um... So, but the, uh, the other review video will definitely go up this weekend, and then starting next week, I'm going to put um, three up a week, uh, starting. But, <laughs> look at this. He's so funny. Tucker. <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> he says, I love you, Dad, and Boo Radley is licking my back, and everything is so nice right now. Yeah, you're so happy. You're smiling. So, anyway, um... But today, I kind of like, I figured out like timing wise, like fi like filming my videos and if I'm gonna have like enough time to do the review stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I had so much extra time that I could have done it today. But I just really wanna be like, really, you know, happy and positive on like one of those days when I do it, if that makes sense. And it's not that I haven't been today. I mean, I feel very blessed in my life today. I'm happy. Um, so, but I just want to be like, you know how I was yesterday at Melissa's. Like, I had such a great day yesterday, you know? And that, it was so fun to do it like that. That's how I want my review channel to be. So, I was like, you know, today I think I'm just going to do my videos on my other channel. And then the review can come this weekend. So, it's a funny one. You guys are going to, you're going to die when you see it. It's so funny. Um, I mean, I hope it's funny. I hope it, I, I don't, I haven't filmed it yet. So, I don't know. But the way that I want to do it, I hope it'll be funny. I'm really excited about doing it. Tucker, what's going on? Pee pee. How's your nap, honey? And now I'm gonna put on a Halloween movie <laughs> while I get ready um, to go over to my brother-in-law's. So, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday while you're watching this. And do Radley send you kisses? <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Hello. I am on my way to my brother-in-law's house. And I just stopped at the gas station and got a fountain Coke. I got a Diet Pepsi. Um, because I know they won't have any Coke over there. The kids drink, I think, juice. And Alex asked me to, is this car not seeing me backing out? Um, Alex asked me to bring that case of beer that's been on our fridge for or been on our counter forever, so I have that back there. And um, yeah, so I'm headed out. I laid down for like 45 minutes. PB was coughing like really bad, and um, so I laid down with him for a little bit. He seemed to be he seemed to get better as we laid down. So I think sometimes he gets scared when he coughs, and so then. Um, there's a Maserati in front of me. It's beautiful. Um, I think he gets scared sometimes when he starts coughing because he comes real close to me. And um, so I just held him. And then he finally settled down and we laid down for like a half an hour. And now it is 8.21. And I'm headed out there. It's like really muggy tonight. It says it's 74. Put the remote behind there. It says it's 74 and it's like muggy and hot outside. Oh, the fountain drinks taste really good. I'm actually super, super hungry right now. Um, I hope my husband gets some hummus or something. Because he's stopping at Kroger, so maybe he'll get some hummus or something. Who knows? Maybe I'll stop at Kroger if he doesn't. Yeah, so I'm excited about this. This will be fun. We're just going to kind of hang out there for a little while. And then Alex has got a bunch of stuff he's got to do in the morning. He's got meetings and stuff. And then um, we're going to go to Cascade tomorrow. So I am going to uh, get up and do videos tomorrow. And I don't know what else. I mean, my regular routine. People walking down the street. 
drinking beer. Are we like an open container state now? Is Indiana like you can walk down the street and drink beer? I didn't know that. Does anybody know? <laughs> I mean, not that it affects me, but I just wondered. That's weird. If you don't know what I mean, like in Indiana for a long time, you couldn't like walk down the street. You couldn't have like an a open bottle on the street. I think that's the law. I don't know. It's been so long since I've had a drink or anything that I don't even I don't even know all that stuff. I know that they changed it and you can now buy alcohol on Sundays um, for certain like during a certain time period. I think it's like 10 to 8 p.m. like 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. or something or 12 to 8 p.m. or something and for a long time you couldn't buy alcohol. Well forever. I mean since I remember until like a year ago. Oh look at that Mont Pizza. That looks kind of fun. Um, you couldn't buy alcohol on Sundays. I think I actually just talked about that not too long ago because I was saying that like we would have to buy alcohol on Saturdays for Sundays and I would like try to hold it <laughs> but of course I would go through like most of it on Saturday and then on Sunday we would have to go someplace where you could drink which was like on, in Indiana like you had to serve food on a Sunday to be able to like serve alcohol. I think it's the law. I don't know. Like just actually have like a bar open they have to serve food too. But that law must not be the same anymore. I don't know. Who cares? I don't. It doesn't affect me. <sighs> I could have laid down for a little bit longer, honestly. I didn't really even fall asleep. I fell asleep for like 15 minutes, kind of. I was like kind of dozing off a little bit. And then Pee Pee like jumped up. Like he thought he heard, like, he heard something, I guess. And he like, his head jumped up. and. I had my arm over him, so I kind of like got up and got startled. And then Alex had texted me because I had told him that PP was coughing really hard, and so he was texting me about that. And so then I got was responding to him. And then I couldn't fall back asleep. Then it was like at that point it was like quarter till like eight, and I was like, I'm just gonna get up, and get ready. There's no reason for me to just lay in bed and act like I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Do you ever, I don't know. Like, people that take these, like, quote-unquote disco naps for, like, 15 or 20 minutes, like, it just makes me tired. It just makes me more tired than I was before. Like, if I can't sleep for, like, a good two hours where I'm, like, <sighs> and I get up and, like, totally rested, like, I can't, you know? Tan Tanya is at this uh, Chris Stapleton country music concert tonight. I have a feeling it is probably, because uh, it has rained most of the day. Wet, hot, and sweaty out there is what I bet it's like. <sighs> oh, gosh. I wonder if the kids will be wild tonight. Now that Carlitos is older, he's almost six, he always wants Alex to like put movies on for him, like have like, find a movie for him to put on while he's there. So, the last time we were there, I can't even remember what movie it was. He, I don't know, Pokemon or Transformers or something, but he wanted Alex to find it. And, um, now Sebastian, he'll be three in January, he's like all about looking at like, like watching a tablet, uh, like YouTube videos on the tablet. Like they watch all of these like cartoon characters dancing to songs that like nin like Ninja Turtles dancing. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Carlitos loves like the toy reviews and the pranks. Like he watches those. And um, I, I mean, sometimes I see these videos, like I'll watch a video with them. And, like, it'll be, like, a slime ball prank, and it'll have, like, I'm not even lying to you when I tell you it has, like, 23 million, I mean, I'm just estimating, but guesstimating, 23, like, million views on it. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, but they'll just watch it over and over and over again. You know, they love these channels. If you get a social blade and you, like, and you look at, um, like what the hottest channels are on Social Blade, like in the top 100, they're, they're not what you think they are. They're not like, you know, PewDiePie, Tana Mojo, they're not like that. It's like, like the number one is like an Indian music video channel. And um, then like fifth is like, like this toy review channel. It's like crazy, you know? Like, and they're, they, they're getting more views than like Viva, like Lady Gaga Vivo and stuff. Like, it's crazy, these toy review channels, you know? It's really interesting. 
so anyway, yeah, so I'm real excited about that. I'm just kind of sit around and I don't know if it's just us or if Alex's grandma is coming over with his mom or if his aunt and I'm sure his aunt and uncle probably are not coming over. They don't usually come over in the evenings unless it's a holiday. And um, I'm sure there'll be some like random friends. Because that's usually the case. I've got my eye on like all these new cars and I feel like I'm getting old when I look at a certain, like this Audi SUV just passed me by and it was beautiful, this white Audi SUV. I've never been like a big fan of Audis, but they seem to, they're very pretty and very much out of my price range. <laughs> so that won't be happening. I like to look at nice cars and be like, hmm, I wonder what that must be like. Okay, well listen, I'm gonna get off here and listen to a little bit of music before I get out to uh, my brother-in-law's house. And um, I also need to call my husband and see what he's getting at Kroger. So I'm gonna get off here and I will be back when I'm leaving there. Bye. Hello. Okay, I am so exhausted right now. Um, well, a quiet little family evening? No, that was not what just happened, but it was fun nonetheless. We got there, or I got there a little bit before Alex did, and um, to my in-laws, and it was just like, Carlos, Liliana, my mother-in-law, and the kids running around, and then it was like, these neighbors that live down the street that I know, and then it was like another couple that I don't know and their like little son. And um, so I was like, oh, this isn't bad, whatever, you know. <clears throat> and so everybody you know, was sitting there around and then Alex came in and he brought hummus and stuff like that. And, um, which was good because I was really hungry for it. I think I just like ate my weight in hummus and Doritos, honestly. And, <laughs> So we're sitting there and all of a sudden there's like a ring of the doorbell and there's like 10 people that come in, all friends of Liliana's and Carlos's that I've never met before. Carlos sets up the karaoke speaker deal thing that's like huge on this pedestal and it has these like disco lights going and all of a sudden it turns into uh, this like basically this disco club and they're playing all this music and Carlos DJing and people are dancing and it was really fun but it was very loud it was very very loud the kids were running around they were making zombie maps they were drawing I don't know what that means they were drawing zombie maps and making zombie books and um, then there was line dancing there was salsa dancing and there was all kinds of stuff Alex's mom was teaching me some special salsa dancing moves. And uh, yeah. And I had one, right. I had one arepas and then I had, and I'm full. They even had like this delicious looking tres leches cake and I didn't have any of it. Alex, cause that's like Alex's favorite. It had like some strawberry in it or something too, but I was not hungry at the end. I was like, I'm so full right now from just eating all that crap. So I was like, eh. But anyway, it was fun, and then Alex's mom took Sebastian upstairs to kind of quiet him down a little bit so that he could get ready for bed, and um, she was showing me his, like, he has, like, a new bedroom there, but he still sleeps with Carlos and Liliana, and, um, but anyway, she was, like, I was talking to her about her wanting to look for a house and stuff like that, so... She's like, yeah, I kind of want my own little place. And so she and I were just kind of hanging out while he was playing on his tablet, watching some show, tablet. I was joking on the way there about like, um, <laughs> these YouTube channels that these videos are like kids are watching are getting like 20 plus million views. And when I came in, like Carlos and this other kid and Sebastian, Carlitos, um, and Sebastian, this other kid, were like in the other room and they were like playing on the floor and the tablet was on the couch and it was just like running. And so I sat down and I like looked at it and it was like on this really long ad. <laughs> and 
and um, the video underneath it had like something ridiculous like I don't know it was like a hundred million views or 50 million views or something ridiculous and I was like and these kids just like turn it on and then they leave it running and these it just cracked me up I was like you know people get so upset about ads and monetization and all this kind of stuff and I'm like half the kids in the world that are watching these videos are just like bankrolling these channels because they're just like letting the ads play forever because they're not even sitting there watching it you know so um yeah but it was fun it was a good time all of the food was good especially the hummus that Alex brought from Kroger that was like my favorite I haven't had hummus in a long time I used to eat a lot of it but I don't as much anymore I don't know why did you ever eat something and then you like eat it so much you kind of get sick and tired of it? Yeah. So that was it. And then tomorrow, Alex, like I said, he has a bunch of stuff in the morning and mid-afternoon. And then um, we're going to leave the house between like 4 and 5. And we're going to meet up with a bunch of people. And then I think we're going to meet Melissa and Jason at the place to go see Cascade. And that'll be fun. I just hope it doesn't rain. It's like kind of been raining a little bit off and on tonight. Alex is like, what are you going to wear? I'm like, shorts and a t-shirt like I always wear. I mean, probably a hat. I just realized I have my phone cord in my pocket because I took it there to charge my phone while I was there. At least I remember to bring it home. I usually take my phone like charger places. I never really let my phone get that dead. I mean, I guess, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe people think like I'm on my phone all the time, but like it never really gets that dead. It never gets below, you know, at like 60% or something like that. <laughs> Tonight is not going to be a super long vlog night. I'm actually going to vlog right now on my way home a little bit. And then I'm going to go inside and uh, see the dogs and talk to Alex before he goes to bed. Because we really didn't get a chance to talk there very much because it was so loud. I mean, we did, but like it was loud and we were eating and stuff. So, and talking to other people. So, um, I'll probably talk to him for a little bit and then come back out and vlog for just a little bit longer. And that's it. Okay, so I messed up. I was like reaching the camera. But anyway, um, so I was talking about how I was going to go home and talk to Alex for a little bit. And then I was going to come back out and vlog for a little bit more. I'm just really tired, you guys, tonight. You know, like my eyes are tired. And it's just been like I've been going and going and going all day today. And I've gotten a lot done. But, um, yeah. I think like laying down for a little bit <laughs> did not help the situation. I think like had I not done that because I was like awake, but I was like, oh, I could rest for like 40 minutes and which ended up being 20 minutes. And I was also worried about PP, so I wanted to lay down with him a little bit. But like had I not done that, I think like I would have um, been a little bit more alert tonight. You know, I was sitting there and I was thinking about like my social anxiety and stuff and it's like like five years ago, like that situation tonight would have just completely overwhelmed me. Like com completely overwhelmed me. And uh, I mean all the people and you know, the shouting and the dancing, I mean it just would have been a lot for me. And I was thinking about that as I was sitting there, you know, and um, and Alex and I were kind of like just sitting next to each other eating while it, like people kind of just come and eat and do what they want to do. It's like real fun, you know? And today I'm able to enjoy that. Like today I'm really able to like participate in it. And like one of the things I've learned, like for me, is that I have to come in and I have to like introduce myself to everybody so that then I feel like I know everybody before I sit down, if that makes sense. Um, I know, if that makes sense. I get so tired of saying it, too. But anyway, you know, so that um, 
I don't feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, I don't know who those five people are or whatever. So, I kind of like, as I come in, I, you know, hey, how are you? And try to do all that kind of stuff, even though it's nerve wracking to me sometimes. And, um, and even like when these people came in, you know, I was like, I stood up and Carlos introduced me to everybody and, uh, <laughs> they all thought I was the neighbor. <laughs> They were all like, oh, are you the neighbor? And, and Carlos was like, no, this is my brother-in-law. And he's married to my brother, Alex. They're like, oh, it's really nice to meet you. And I was like, it's nice to meet you too. And, and they were all super friendly, but, but you know, like just a lot, a lot of stuff going on kind of messes with my like social anxiety. So it like makes me more nervous than if we were, if I was just like in a movie theater or if I was like at somebody's house for dinner and there was like four or five people there. Like I could totally handle that. But like this like intensity of like sound and stuff is a lot for me, you know? I don't know. Tanya should be done with her concert right now. I'm getting ready to drive by her house. I wonder if she had fun. Eugene Applestein, prettiest girl. It looks like she's home. Well, it didn't rain tonight, like, that hard. I mean, if it sprinkled a little bit, but it didn't rain rain. No, I think maybe at one point it did a little bit. So they must have had, like, nice weather for the cons. Well, not nice weather, but, like, it wasn't pouring down rain, you know. When I left the house earlier today, I could hardly even get to my car. It was pouring down rain so hard. And then I had my window, like I was driving, you know, and it was like so hot in my car, because of course I don't have air conditioning still. And so I had the window down like this, and I was coming up to this part where there was like this huge puddle, like huge puddle, and it was like a two-way street. And this truck was coming towards me, right? And I literally, in my head, I thought, roll your window up or you're gonna get splashed. And then my next thought was, that's so stupid, that, that car's not gonna splash you like that, right? I literally am sitting here, and I had that raincoat on, you know, that green raincoat. So it, the <laughs> the car comes by and it literally like, it must have been a perfect hit of the water because the water just whoosh, came in and it just like, whoosh, and it like hit my coat and it made this sound. It was like, whoosh, and it hit the side of my face. I was like, okay, Peter, this is so your life. Do you remember when I said that? Oh, my husband's calling me. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, he's like, there was a little pause there, wasn't there? He was like, uh, where are you? And I was like, I'm vlogging. And he was like, oh. He was like, well, I just got home. And I said, yeah, I took the long way so that I could vlog for a little bit on my way home. He was like, oh, okay. And then I was asking about PB's pills because something that they put on the enamel, like, is different than how it was before. Like, the directions. And so when I was, like, putting him in the pill case, I was confused about him this morning. And he knew all about it. He was like, well... One of the pills says one and two on it, so you gotta split that one. I was like, oh, okay. So, anyway, I said, well, can you give it PB as medicine and then put the stuff in the, for the morning and then I'll figure it out tomorrow and fill the rest of the trays. So and he was like, yeah. So he is getting ready to go to bed and I am on my way home. So like I said, I'm gonna hang out with him for a little bit until he falls asleep. And then I'll probably come out and vlog a little bit more. I wanted to start watching Alyssa Edwards' uh, show today on Netflix, Dancing um, Queen. I watched like the first five minutes of it, and um, it looks really good. I'm really excited about it. I mean, she is like my all-time favorite drag uh, queen. She and Alaska are like a type two, and then Adora Delano. And um, well, back in the day, before RuPaul's Drag Race. My favorite was Erica Andrews from San Antonio, Texas. And Erica actually used to like compete against Alyssa Edwards in pageants and stuff, because I had seen them both in pageants before. I saw Alyssa Edwards in pageants years ago, long before she was ever on RuPaul's Drag Race. I about died when she was on RuPaul's Drag Race. I was so excited. And, um, and y'all know like when I go, boost, that comes from, that's Alyssa Edwards from RuPaul's Drag Race. So anyway, it was like this comedy skit she did and I can't remember who she did it with, Shangela, I think. And they, she was telling, like saying names and then she had to say like what she thought of that person and she said Michelle Passage and Alyssa Edwards goes, boost. <laughs> so anyway, 
it was funny. <laughs> Don't you hate when people say, guess you had to be there. <laughs> guess you had to be there. <laughs> oh. I might have to rest my head for about a half an hour, or an hour, maybe an hour. I am so tired tonight. I'm like rotating back and forth on the audiobook between, um, I'm listening to Devil in the White City, but I'm also reading it at home, like going back and forth, because it's the book club that we're, book, book club book that we're reading right now, by Eric Larson. I'm kind of having a hard time getting into it a little bit, honestly. And, um, and and I think it's because I came like straight off the heels of like, you know, Harry Potter into Devil in the White City, which is like completely different writing. Um, and then I'm reading, I'm also listening to Goblet of Fire, the Harry Potter book, which is really good. I love the Harry Potter books. I just did today, I did on my booktube channel, I did my review of Prisoner of Azkaban. Have you guys read the Harry Potter books? Did you read them with your kids? Did your parents read them to you? Like, did you read them on your own? They're fantastic. They're really, really good. I haven't watched a movie yet for Prisoner of Azkaban. I really want to watch it. That's another thing I want to do. I could literally just sit in front of the couch or sit on the couch and just watch hours of TV. Maybe I'll do that on Sunday. Maybe I'll just watch TV all day on Sunday. Would you guys do that? Like, my husband can do that, but it's been a really long time since I've done that. I did not know there was a Red Wing sh store over there. I love Red Wing boots and shoes. Did you guys know that there was one over there? You're like, Peter, we don't even live in your town. I know. Like I always say, it's interesting when you like drive around and the things you see that like you didn't even know like existed in your own town because you like drive around late at night. Especially like when I'm listening to audiobooks because I'm like, I'm like listening, but I'm kind of just like looking and I'm like, oh. I didn't know that was there. That Arby's reopened? Okay. I haven't been to Applebee's in forever. Alex and I used to go there a lot. Like, we could go on dates and stuff like we were trying to save money like if we went out like once a week or something like that was one of the places that we went was Applebee's because they had the two for my nose I even like took scissors and like tried to trim around my nose today because I, I didn't want to drive me crazy but they had like the two for 20 there I've talked about this before but, like Alex and I like we knew like every deal in the city as far as like going out to eat and everywhere that we could go that would like be like 20 25 dollars you know and those would be the places that we would go, like, you know. And then we would, like, save money for, like, once or twice a month to go somewhere, like, really nice. That was when we were saving money. I still have to say, probably, like, the thing I spend the most money on. I mean, even, like, we don't go out to dinner as much as we used to. I know it doesn't seem like that on here, but, like, we used to go literally out to dinner every night. Every night we went out to dinner. And, um... And the thing is, our bills are a lot cheaper. Like, we went to Cheesecake Factory, but, like, I have a grilled... I get a grilled cheese and fries. It's, like, $7.95 at Cheesecake Factory. It's super cheap, right? So it's, like... I mean, for everything else that they have there, their meals are expensive. And, um... You know, back in the day, I would get, like, a cheeseburger or something. It was, like, $16.95. And, uh, you know, Alex always, like, if we go somewhere for pasta, he just gets, like, basic, like, spaghetti. Like, last night, I got spaghetti and meatballs. So, our meals have never really... I mean, we're not, like, steak and potato eaters. We've never been, like, people, obviously. But we've never been people that, like, spend, like, tons of money when we go out to eat. But it's, like, it can add up. And I think, like, for me... Like, food is probably one of the things I spend, um, or we spend the most money on. Alex used to spend a lot of money shopping, but he really has kind of slowed that down a lot lately.
Although I got on that ASUS website and I need to stay off there because they have like incredible deals. And I have to say the two pairs of shoes that I bought to take to Vegas and I wore both of them are like really nice shoes. And um, like they were, I thought like pretty well priced for what I got. And they're gonna be perfect for fall and winter. And um, and like one pair is this like really cool loafer. I showed them on here, these really cool loafers. And um, I don't know, like that ASOS website has like, they have nice stuff and you can get it like at like discounted prices and stuff. Have you guys been to ASOS? It's A-S-O-S. One of the things I really liked on there too is like for the men's section, they have an entire section of like plus size clothes for like men that are over like, and I'm not right now, thank God, but like men that are over like uh, waist sizes of like 40 and 42 and it goes up to like 44, 46. And um, I, the, highest weight, the highest waist I've ever been is a 42, but literally it was like impossible to find clothes that were stylish at all that size, you know? And it's like, I don't know, like, I, unless you're like a bigger person like I am, and, or even that I was a lot bigger, it's like, and not just now, but like, you know, years ago when I was like 250 plus, it's like, the things that like you take for granted, like, and I know it sounds like you would think like, well, my concerns are my health or my concerns are this, but you know, it does make you feel good to like get dressed up every once in a while in something cute that looks nice, right? And the problem is, is that there just isn't a lot. Like your options are really limited. You know, men's at sizes at like Target go up to 2XL. Kohl's, they don't carry that kind of stuff that's at that size. It's really hard to find, like, and I'm just speaking for men's. I know women's is like a whole different story. But you know, it's like so hard. It's like, and I, and I know for, I've had a lot of friends of mine that are women that are bigger too. And it's like, we're like, I guess like people over a certain size are the ones that are forgotten. And I used to kind of joke about it and say certain stores hate fat people, but it's the truth. You know, it's like absolutely the truth. Like this is like when you really re realize weight discrimination is when um, you like go into a store and uh, like their their 2XL is literally like a medium. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like seriously, you know what I mean? So, it's hard though. And the, and the thing that's hard about that is that then that's a reminder of you're, you're heavy, you know? And then that reminds you of your weight and your health and your struggle. And so it's not just about being able to shop in a certain store and wear a certain thing. It's about what all comes with that, you know? And I'm all about body positivity. I really am. And you know, like, I've gotten to the point now where my YouTube videos, like, I mean, somebody took a screenshot of me, like, I don't know how long ago. I think I even talked about it on here for my vlog of me sideways, whatever. I'm like, well, that's who I am. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, okay, that's who I am. Like, I'm not trying to hide from who I am. But at the same time, it's like, um, I have a hard time with like, like I'm real, like I, I really have a hard time with my own like body stuff, you know, like, looked in the mirror a whole lot being heavier and been like all right like you know what I mean like I'm just having that's where I was like in my vlog to, or in my purisms video today I was talking about like like stuff like other people can be really negative with us but sometimes our own negative thinking is worse than anybody else's because it can creep in it can take over right and so like our like mantras in our head our tape that we have running you know is worse than anybody else's you know and i think it's a lot about rewriting that youtube has really really helped me as far as my confidence with my body i will say that like before 
I wouldn't want to go places if I, you know, I'd be like, well, I'm going to be the heaviest person there, or blah, 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 this, or blah, 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 that, or I don't have anything cute to wear, you know, I don't know, I'm just going to be embarrassed because I haven't seen these people in a long time, and I'm going to be, you know, I'm so heavy compared to them. And then, you know, starting my YouTube, like, book, booktube channel, when I just one day was like, listen, you're never going to lose the weight to start this channel, so just start it. And I'm like, I've loved YouTube for two and a half, half years, and I've roughly stayed the same way. And so, even though I've talked about it a ton on all of my channels, you know, so obviously it's a struggle for me. And so, you know, what I've learned from that is don't let it hold me back from enjoying my life. But at the same time, would I like to be thinner? Yeah. I'll get there. I just, I just hope it's not when I'm 80, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna get off here and I will be back to vlog a little bit later. I'm like trying to like figure out like, where did my remote go? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm like trying to figure out how long I have been vlogging for. So I vlogged at the house. <laughs> I have to do this while I'm on camera. I'll forget to do it. I vlogged while I was at the house. Come on. Door. For like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then what, another 10 minutes? So was that 20, 25 minutes? I have no idea. I just don't want this vlog to be super short after I've been doing like an hour and a half the last couple nights because then people will be like, I really missed a really long vlog. Because I'm like, I know, but I just can't do that every night. I don't know. I, sometimes I go inside the house and I lay down for like a half an hour and I come back out and I'm like, I am awake. So that might be the case. And then you might get a three hour vlog tonight. Anyway, I will um, be back in just a little bit. Bye. Hello. Okay, well, that whole me going home and sleeping for an hour thing or resting for a little bit, that did not happen. <laughs> I crashed out and I just woke up and took the dogs outside and I am like exhausted. So I'm just gonna vlog here for a couple minutes and this is gonna be a real, sh well not a real short vlog, but this is gonna be a shorter vlog tonight than usual. And which is okay because I know let a lot of you like catch up. And then tomorrow's I promise will be longer. Um, it's like super late. like stormed and stuff and everything. I don't know, maybe that's why I, I fell asleep so hard. But when it's late like this, I don't set my alarm, so I just sleep and I literally lay down and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna lay here and rest my eyes for like a half an hour and I don't know, I guess maybe I needed the sleep. I need to take my contacts, contacts out is what I need to do because I fell asleep with my contacts in and then I oh, like woke up and I was like, oh. do you ever wake up like that with your contacts in? Even if it's just for like a little, if I sleep for like, if I take a little nap for like an like hour and a half, two hours, like it never seems to happen to me, but like when I crash out, like, and I don't know, maybe it's because I'm sleeping harder or something and I'm not really thinking about it. Like I wake up and my contacts are so like blurry, I put contact solution in them, but it's really hard to see anyway. I was having like crazy dreams. Like crazy, crazy dreams. <sighs> when I was taking the dog out, the paper guy was driving around delivering the paper. It's kind of like, it's like sprinkling a little bit outside. It was like so peaceful in our neighborhood. And then like I opened the door and it was so cute because like the dogs like just like one, two, three, ran all the way back inside. And like usually like pee, pee will go, let me put this behind here. Usually like pee, -pee will go and um, get like more water to drink or like, you know, Boo Radley will like go downstairs into his house and then come back upstairs and like see what's going on. But they just like one, two, three, just like all of them like ran upstairs, go back into bed with Alex. It was so cute. You hear that bird? The sound of that bird always 
reminds me I have to count on you, Mark. <sighs> you know, back in the day, like if I, uh, If I had something to do and I like fell asleep and I slept through it or, um, well, that's not a good example because I don't usually do that. But like tonight, like wanting to get up so I could, you know, like film my vlog and then like watch an episode or two of like that Alyssa Edwards show or something like that. Like back in the day, like I, like that would have been really frustrating to me. I would have been like, oh, I had all this to do. I had all that to do and whatever. And now I'm just kind of like, well, your body must have needed it, you know? So, this guy's driving in front of me with his hazard lights on. So if your body needed it, you know, let it have it. I also woke up with my like nose running and it must be like, high on allergy season today. Ooh, the exhaust from that car is strong. It smells like a boat. You know when I was over at Melissa's and uh, she had that, that book about the making of Halloween, I was thinking about that uh, show that I watched. It was like the making of uh, Jaws. I enjoyed watching that like documentary so much about Jaws that I thought I think that I'm gonna um, maybe like start reading more books or watching more documentaries about like behind the scenes of filmmaking and stuff like that. Like I was really, I mean, I'm not interested in making films or anything like that's much too complicated for me. And um, but you know, when I was in college, I studied that for a little while, and it was very interesting. I talked about that on here the other day. It was so funny when I was talking about Peggy, uh, uh, Peggy Sue got married. And so many people had like um, different like thoughts about that movie. Like so many people were like, oh, that movie freaked me out or I didn't like that movie or whatever. I thought that was interesting. studying film and you see like like what's behind the scenes and you know it's I don't know it's kind of like when you like uh, read articles about reality television and you find out like what's real and what's not real like it's kind of really depressing sometimes you know like I remember like watching the hills Alex and I must have been together at the end of that show because he loved that show. He was like really into it. And then we also watched like the spin off the city and um we had interviewed uh Kelly Catrone who is was on the city. I think she was on a couple episodes of The Hills too. And then she had her own reality show a show called Kel on Earth. But you know like when you talk to like people that have been on reality shows, but they're so highly edited that it's like they take the truth, but then they like manipulate it to look the way that they want it to look. It's kind of really sad, you know? Maybe the, tr you know, maybe the reality, maybe the truth is just boring. People don't want to see it that way, I don't know. exciting we we'll watch a reality show that's like a show you know 
I sometimes think that like with the Real Housewives of Dallas, like I like that show, but those women are really pretty normal. And like it seems kind of very scripted to me at parts. Like they recently went out of town. I can't remember who was the one, I think it was Leanne that doesn't really drink or party. And then she felt like she needed them. They were at a bar and they were like, um, doing, a, what are those things called? Like in college with a funnel, you know, they were funneling beer because one of them had brought the funnel along with them. And I thought, like, I don't, <laughs> I mean, I don't live in a shoe, you know what I mean? And it's like, Alex has a lot of kind of like wild and crazy friends. I can't think of one time in the last, you know, 10 years that we've been together where they've been at a bar and they've just whipped out like a funnel to do funnel beer. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like it just, some of it seems very exaggerated to me. And then I'm like, well, is this for the show or like what's the purpose of this exaggeration? You know what I mean? chug like three bottles of water right now. I do think I'm going to stop. I'm going to find a gas station around here. I think the closest one is to the left. And then it makes you wonder like what is real and what isn't real, you know, about stuff. frustrating to Tanya sometimes, you know, it's like, she'll be like, I really don't, I mean, she doesn't really understand, like, the whole phenomenon of YouTube and all this kind of stuff, and so she's like, you know, like, like, Alex, I think, more so gets it because of his age, like, growing up in this technological age, but, like, even though, I mean, Tony gets it, like, she's not stupid, but she gets it, but she's, like, people literally think you, like, concoct these stories, and, and for what? She's, like, you know, you, you literally get on camera and drive around and talk about your life, and she's, like, you know, she's just, like, I think it's so ridiculous that people think that, and she's, like, you know, it doesn't really matter what you talk about. Talk about what you want to because they're always going to think something, you know? And, um... But I don't just think that's me. I think that's also because we live in, like, this technological world where, like, there are so many YouTubers that, you know, like... And I think that's part of, like, what she doesn't understand. It's like, you never know, like... I mean, Tiny only sees a part, you know, like, where she watches, when she watches all of, you know, my videos to, well, she doesn't watch, like, my drama videos, but, like, my vlog and, like, my Peterisms and stuff, she'll watch those, but she'll be, you know, she only sees that, and so she sees, like, her best friend on camera being her best friend, you know, she doesn't see, like, the highly concocted, planned out, edited, but, I mean, this is really the whole conversation with, like, Shane Dawson and Jake Paul right now, you know, how much is real and how much isn't, and so, you know, whereas we don't live in a world where it is, like, it seems more unrealistic that it could innocently just be somebody honestly telling the truth about their life, you know, that then it, ha it has to be all made up. It has to be a lie. You know, that's the world we live in. And not just because of YouTube, but because of reality television and these contests like Amazing Race and, you know, what is real and what isn't. And, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's been times, you know, with my vlog where I'm, I'm like, if people aren't going to believe me, what's the point in even, like, doing the vlog, you know, and telling any kind of stories? 
but then I get so many overwhelmingly just really positive comments from you guys that I'm like, well, that's what really matters, you know? And I really enjoy doing it, and I have fun doing it, and I have fun telling the stories of my life. So, you know, there's always gonna be people that don't support you and don't believe you, and that's okay. YouTube itself is kind of this ever-changing, ever-evolving phenomenon, and it's just very bizarre. It's just bizarre to even, like, you know, film videos on it sometimes. Which is why I'm, like, loving the uh, review channel, because it's something so different. And even though it seems like, I mean, people put on there, like, oh, another review channel, whatever. Well, I watch a lot of review channels, and, okay. But there's a lot of vlog channels, there's a lot of drama channels, there's a lot of book channels. I'm doing something that I love, and that's okay. I'm excited about it, and I'm happy for the people that are excited about watching it with me, you know? Why is Speedway so packed, my lord? So thank you for those of you that are supporting the review channel, because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Look at my crazy hair this morning. My crazy hair. I'm going to try to tell uh, more scary stories tomorrow. So I'm going to get off here. And um, can you tell how tired I am? <laughs> We're like, yeah, you guys are like, yes, Peter, we can tell. No, it's all a conspiracy. It's all a conspiracy. Um, you're like, yes, we can tell Peter how tired you are. You look exhausted. I am exhausted. So I am going to get a bottle of water and I'm going to drive home and I'm going to go and fall fast asleep. So, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful... What is today? Saturday? Yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. And, um... Expect a longer vlog on Sunday. <laughs> I say that, and then it'll end up being like 10 minutes. No, I promise. It'll be longer. Alright, you guys. I love you. And I hope you're having a good weekend. And, um... I was going to tell you to do something, but I don't know what to tell you to do. Watch a scary movie today for Halloween. Okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.